friends welcome to civil architecture tutorial today the subject is pile foundation construction or the procedure of constructing a pile foundation i will give you a general idea you know the pile foundation is actually a deep foundation where deep foundation is a foundation in which the depth of the foundation is more higher than the width of the foundation so such foundations are called deep foundations there are different types of piles like end bearing piles friction piles under rain piles combustion piles so first we have to determine whether we have to go for pile foundation or not so what is the determining factor is maybe some uh, land maybe water table is very high means maybe uh, up to a point of 50 cm afterwards we can reach the water table so what the water table is high we have to go for this thing otherwise uh, there will not be any harsh data available in that particular uh, site up to a certain depth. So for that, in that case also we need to go for piles or if the soil bearing capacity is less than 24 kN, we have to go for pile foundation. So these are the conditions for which we have to go for pile foundation. So once it is decided that the particular building has to go for pile foundation, we have to make the center line drawing for the piles so that drawing is available in which there will be points marked where the location of each pile will be marked that means there will be some piles will be single some piles will be a group of piles so all these things will be shown in the drawing so with reference to the drawing we have to mark the site the points where the pile will come okay and after that the truck mounted rig should come there along with the auger machine which is the drilling machine so this auger have to set on the mark of that pile point and then it will rotate it will go it will bore hole in the mark it will go down so that is the procedure so while making the bore hole we should be very careful about the collapse of the earth into the borehole i will come to that later before that i will say there are different types of dia of auger is available for uh, household items or household works uh, the normal dia is around 300 mm 450 mm or 600 mm and if it's for a very big project it starts from 20 inch auger pile auger okay that's the diameter of the auger and once we started the boring of the hole the hole can maybe the bore length of that hole can be 2 meter, 6 meter or 10 meter depends upon the bearing capacity or depends upon the uh, hard strata that is available at that side. Sometimes it can, it can reach at 10 meter, maybe at 30 meter it can reach. So up to where the hard strata is available, we have to bore the hole. Once the boring starts, we have to add bentonite powder with water, the bentonite slurry along with the boring. Otherwise, when we are boring, the, there is a, always a chance for the earth to collapse into the borehole and normally the water table will be there in normal case from 3 meter to 6 meter range the water table is always there so bentonite mixture should be added to stabilize the soil around the borehole but uh, in the case of 3 meter to four, 6 meter I said just now about the water table maybe in some areas this bentonite mixture cannot hold the uh, earth in a stable position at that area so at that case we need to add a casing cap that is a pvc hollow cylindrical casing casing pipe into it into only into that much area that means three meter to six meter wherever the water table is there so that could be temporary or it could be permanent that depends so that it will prevent the earth from collapsing into the borehole so once the digging of the borehole is over, you can have to remove this uh, auger and then the borehole is ready now. It is filled with the bentonite slurry and groundwater. Okay, so at this point, we need to put the pile cage. Pile cage is the reinforcement for this pile, which should be ready before boring the hole. So the pile cage consisting of the uh, central ring or a main ring which makes the uh, cage shape and then the longitudinal bars will come again a helical ring will cover all the longitudinal bars <clears throat> and then we have to put the covering blocks 
the pile cage is ready at site and you have to put this pile cage into this bore hole with the help of a crane and pulley so you have to slowly place it it's a very difficult task to put in line with the bore hole so you have to put this uh, cage into this bore hole till it reaches the hard strata like this so this thing this thing is the reinforcement bar okay this this line line like this so it should reach till the uh, bottom line bottom strata so once you put this uh, pile cage into the bore hole then you can start pouring the concrete but you cannot start pouring the concrete as it is because as you know you cannot pour the concrete from a height more than 1.2 even in the case of uh, concrete work rcc work in the high rise building also if it's a roof work there is a minimum distance from the surface to the uh, pouring pipe that distance we should keep that is 1.2 1.2 should not be more than 1.2 if you pour it more than 1.2 distance then there will be always a chance for segregation of uh, uh, concrete mortar and sand so you know to avoid that segregation it is always a principle to put the concrete within this 1.2 meter so for that we need to add a pipe called tremi pipe tremi pipe comes in uh, distance of 2 meter or 1.5 meter so if it is a borehole of 10 meter then we have to add 4 2 meters tremi pipe that comes to 8 meter and then 1 1.5 pipe is okay for that tremi pipe so this is the tremi pipe you know the central pipe is a tremi pipe and this is the hard strata of this borehole okay so there should be a distance between this tremi pipe and the bottom line because we are pouring the concrete within this tremi pipe so we need to give space for this concrete to fill okay so this is tremi pipe and tremi pipe reaches up to the top of the uh, earth level from where it is connected to a hopper this is called hopper okay and hopper in in this in this area we can own and off this hopper that is also a mechanism our brain hopper so this, this is the hopper and to the hopper there's a pipe coming from the rmc vehicle so the concrete will come through like this from the rmc it comes to the hopper and in the hopper it comes to the trimming pipe and then it reaches the bottom now you understand this thing so this when it reaches the bottom as it reaches the bottom you know this hole is filled with benzene mixture and uh, the groundwater so when the concrete comes here this benzene mixture will come up so uh, this will be adding on the concrete uh, as, as we add, add on the concrete into this the benzene mixture will come up so when the concrete gets adds up this tremi pipe will also comes up so we have to remove the first tremi pipe when it uh, when the concrete filled up to this level then the second tremi pipe we have to uh, remove like that it will reach up to this level there is a cutting edge for all the pile okay up to which we need the pile beyond that we don't need the pile so this suppose this is the cutting edge for this line so we reach up to, up to this level then again we will pour concrete up to one meter from the cutting edge okay why i am telling right now that is as you are pouring the concrete into it you know the uh, ground water with the benzene mixture will comes up and that mixture will get will have a lot of impurities in it so up to this one one meter level and behind this uh, after this cutting edge we will do this concreting and this concrete will have all the impurities of the ground water so once it is cast and cured then afterwards we will destroy that we will remove that concrete from that one meter area and we will expose that reinforcement again and then we will do the pile cap in that area this is this is like that this is the one meter area of the pile which we need to uh, break again and we have to make one meter one meter on the sides <coughs> and this after this you have to uh, break this uh, concrete here and then you have to put pcc and then go for the pile cap so that is the mechanism of pile foundation construction and one more thing is that the how we are giving money to this uh, pile work is for all this work that is uh, uh, boring 
of this hole putting the cage and uh, this uh, pouring of concrete all this work the cost is measured in terms of running meter so we had to give the cost uh, according to the running meter of this thing and the reinforcement cage cost will be extra which will be added to this running cost so i hope today you understand the procedure of pile foundation work i will come with a new video with another subject till then goodbye please subscribe share and like my channel thank you very much